Hi, I'm Garrow Kedigan. Welcome to Williamsburg, Brooklyn. Today we'll be touring a three-story brownstone in the heart of Williamsburg, Brooklyn. And I'm super excited to show you what I've done with the place. So come and follow me and let's take a tour. As soon as you walk in from the foyer, you are introduced to this beautiful, airy, and open space. My clients are a young couple and they are aspiring art collectors, so I really use that as my jumping point. For instance, while shopping in the Paris flea markets, we happened upon this fabulous antique tandem bicycle. And we said, hey, let's use that as art. After all, it is Brooklyn. The mid-century modern dining table adds a wood element, which warms up the space, along with the gracious dining chairs. And of course, I extended the whimsy of the bicycle into the ceiling pendant lights over the table. I use this carpet in the space, which is a little bit more rustic, and helps open the personality and the language to the kitchen, which is right next door. Your eye is immediately drawn to this giant kitchen island. After all, islands are the modern congregation point in any house. Because the kitchen is so open to the main living spaces, I really wanted the design of it to be integral to the rest of the space. And anyone that knows me as a designer knows that I love color, and there was no chance I was going to keep these cabinets white. And one of the things that I love about this kitchen is it creates this wonderful transition between the dining room and the living room. I wanted to take advantage of the great amount of light that floods into this room, so I took the opportunity to paint the walls this vibrant blue. The living room space is characterized by two seating groupings. On one side, I placed this wonderful deep daybed, which really anchors the space. And at the opposite side of the room, the secondary seating grouping with these wonderful traditional chairs, which we also found at the Paris flea markets. The off-center fireplace in the room, to me, creates the language of informality. And to combat that, I put this wonderful antique daybed in front of the fireplace because it brings back the push-pull language from the dining room. So now that we've toured the more formal spaces, I'll take you downstairs so that you can see where the casual entertaining happens. What I love about the space are these wonderful French doors that open right into the garden. We have this wonderful, whimsical bar that we designed for the back wall of the space. It's hard to come by outdoor space in New York City, so I count my clients lucky as having this urban oasis. And speaking of Oasis, my client always told me that his little office study space in the back always felt like he was sitting in a fishbowl. So I took every advantage of that and I created this wonderful aquarium. A fish theme on the walls and a cloud theme on the ceiling. And not to mention these wonderful, whimsical little porthole mirrors that we put on the walls, almost like little windows looking out from a ship. And now that you've seen two of the three floors, let me take you upstairs so you can see the bedrooms. In addition to the master bedroom, this floor features two smaller kids' bedrooms. Even if you're using a softer color palette, I often think that it's okay to do something a little bit bold. When you come into this room, what catches your attention is this fabulous wallpaper. Because the dressing room area is open to the bedroom, I really wanted that to be a little bit more fun. We sought out this wonderful artist in Italy who did this fabulous neon sign for us and that just set the tone for the rest of the space. For me, when you're designing, whether it be the Upper East Side or Brooklyn, there's always an opportunity for color and whimsy in all of your design work. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thanks for watching. Like what you see on the show? Well, be sure to subscribe to our channel. We have so many more beautiful homes to share. It's all about love. Share these homes, you know?